What up, fam? It's your boy, June Ski. Hey, today I got something special for you. Hey, I swear to you, I looked high and low on YouTube to find this right here. The excess power battery for my Harley Davidson 2019 Road Glide. Look. I see people talk about it, like the guy from NVS Audio, the other guy from, uh, I can't think of his name, but anyway, um, uh, they, they show the battery, you know, they show the battery, but they actually don't show you when they hook it up. When you go on uh, Amazon, it looks weird, like the way the plugs and stuff are, but uh, I believe it's going to hook up. I haven't tried it yet. It's still sealed. It's still sealed, but we're going to open it. Hey, but anyway, let me get down to it. The reason why I went to go get this thing right here is because I have my stock battery inside of my 2019 Road Glide, and I got beat, or I have loud music inside of my bike. I have two subs in the bags, and I have four 6.5s in the front, and it sounds really nice. But what I did do was I added an extra amp onto my bike, in my tour pack, Scar Audio was having a sale. I always like buying stuff from Scar Audio. But anyway, make a long story short, I um, added one to my uh, tour pack. And when I added it to my tour pack, it, it couldn't handle it. The stock battery couldn't handle it. The power was just dropping. And it would go up from the stator and drop and go up and drop. And then after a couple of days, when I try to start my bike, even with the trickle charger on it, it just wouldn't do it. I guess it killed the sales or whatever it did. So what I did was I did my research on a battery. So I basically, I looked at the Stinger battery. And when I went to go get the one that they recommended online, nobody had it in stock. It was DC, discontinued. Um, I looked at lithium batteries and that was out my price range. So I'm gonna keep that, keep it 100. And so I ended up getting a... AGM battery. I think that's how, how you pronounce it. Uh, AGM. Let me see. Um, yeah, it's an AGM battery. So I ended up getting this one right here. Um, and the reason why I picked this one is because it was well recommended that excess power has what I was looking for. So basically, let me read the specs to you. It says that this battery right here has max amps of 2,000 and it has 500 cold cranking amps. And so with that being said, I could play this battery or play my music on my bike for almost an hour before the battery start dying. I'm gonna just keep it like that. I'm not gonna say I play it for an hour and a half, but typically when I'm sitting there playing already, I'll probably play it for maybe five, 10 minutes and then I'm off to the next song or I'll turn it off. But anyway, I needed something that would perform well when I bang my music or turn it up loud. And uh, that other battery just wasn't doing it. I'm not going to say who I bought it from because, you know, they make good batteries if you just want to start your bike, play the stock radio, and keep it moving. But I'm not doing that. I have a lot of stuff on my bike, and I need something that's going to give me enough power to run my system without it failing or without my bike not starting because sometimes I might be on the road and I don't have my jump box with me and I'm doomed. But anyway, make a long story short, we're about to open this thing and let's see what's inside. Let's go. All right, I'm back. I have to go get my handy dandy box cutter. Let's get ready to cut this thing open. Uh, one side, cut this side. Go across the top. Make sure I don't cut down deep into it because I don't know what's in here. Mm. All right. So, um, this particular battery right here is the PSX 30L. This is supposed to be a drop and fit for my year Harley. We're going to put that to the test. Um, inside the box, it comes with a three year warranty card. I like that. And also, I, I extended it even farther than that on Amazon when I purchased it. Um, it says, caution, please read. It says, proper charging is 
Crucial, charge before initiating use. Be sure to read the PS series instruction sheet for full instructions. Do not over tighten the battery terminals. What? That is crazy. I wonder, is it like this? Hey, when you look online, when you look online at this battery on Amazon, it had like little square boxes where you put the screw in the top. But I don't know from what this picture looking like. It looks a little bit different. We're going to find out. So, so anyway, I mean, it has a bunch of instructions on here on what the battery can do. You know, um, temperature, it should be at normal temperature, uh, discharge temperature. It looked like it says five degrees. It'll start discharging. But anyway, we'll, we'll get back to that. Um, let me see. Okay, so little piece of plastic. It gave me a couple little excess power stickers. I'm gonna put them somewhere. And here's, what is this? Oh, look, here go the screws. Here go the screws. You have a couple screws and a couple washers on here and it look like some, some little uh, spacers or something right there. So look at that. So everybody will know exactly what comes in the box because I was lost. I ain't gonna lie to you, I was lost. Hey, while y'all at it, go down to the bottom, like and subscribe. Damn, this, this is heavy. This ain't like a lithium battery, it is heavy. Look at that, let me throw this somewhere around. Yeah, this bad boy weighs weight. This has to be at least like maybe 15, almost 20 pounds, probably is 20 pounds. But anyway, here it is, the excess power battery. This is what the top looked like. This is the PSX30L. And not too many, I ain't seen nobody demo this battery. But that's the reason why I decided to make a video. Here's what you got at the top. You have a max amp of 2000 watts, uh, cold cranking amps at 35 degrees or Fahrenheit. 500 cold crank, well, cranking amps. I don't know what the RC means, but it's saying 50, or this must be reserve charge or something like that, 57 minutes. And it's a AH32. Let's look at what these terminals look like up here. I'm gonna pop one off. It's, this is rubber. This is some type of rubber that goes over it. Oh, okay. Hey, for everybody that was worried like myself, when you look at these little square boxes right here, these little square boxes, you can mount the, you can mount it this way because this is threaded. So when you use these screws that are provided, you can mount it on this side. Or matter of fact, you know what you can do? You can probably mount one cable here and then hook the other cable up top right here. And you can have, you know, like your amp lines running this way. And then you can have to the motorcycle running this Yo, way. Yo, so, all right, fam. So per the recommendation, I'm going to go charge this thing up, the PSX30L, and I'm going to install it in the Harley. All right, fam, we're back with the battery and um it's all installed and it's ready to go inside of the harley let's see if it works i can hear it let me flip the switch see how fast it takes to turn on much better much better i don't know it seemed like whenever summer starts approaching my battery starts dying but other than that hey this is a win-win right here matter of fact like i explained earlier let me turn this off like i explained earlier i needed this for my bike because i have you know subs in my saddle bags and you know lower speakers i got uppers and you know i got amps you know in my tour pack and you know, subs in my subs in my saddlebags. You know what I'm saying? So let's see what it do. Let's see what it do. See how much juice it pull. 
I got the bike turned off right now. Let me put it on the well, vote. Anyway, at first, when I used to play my music, my my needle used to just drop like that because it couldn't handle the draw from the uh, amps that I have. I have one in the fan, one in the tour pack. Um, but now, uh, with the excess power battery, let's see I holds up. Oh, no rights to none of this music. Right, let's go. So here we go. I'm about to go to YouTube. I, I have nothing else to say. XX Power, their batteries are dope. Super dope. Super dope. Hey, and I got a I got a nice size amp inside of my tour pack that's banging them subs. I can smell smoke. <laughs> because they hitting now. They getting full power. I got four gauge wire on here. And hey, I gotta I gotta tell you. It's the truth, bro. The Maxxess Power batteries. I had an AMG battery earlier in here, but this one right here, it outperforms the other one 10 to 1. My battery will be all the way down, all the way down right now, just by playing that much music. But anyway, thanks, fam, for tuning in. It's your boy, Joe Ski, and Lady T is over there, and Duty's right here. Say what's up, Duty. That's right. All right. We out of here. Peace. Oh, like and subscribe.